So, you've wrote the best bloody script that anybody has ever seen. Or maybe it's as good as... My chair won't move. Cool. Well, you wrote that script, you show it to somebody, and they look at it and they go... Let me, let me just... A gag here. The only thing I have to hand is a, um, is a premium art A4 sheet of paper. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's right. What the fuck is going on? So yes, script writing. Script writing is the heart and soul of filmmaking and is where everybody starts when you come up with that tiny little idea, whether it's a scene or whether it's anything. Storyboarding, script writing, script writing, something that is, I find, you know, myself really hard is one of the most important parts and it conveys your message and your story across to everybody. We got there. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charlie Rollins, and today we're gonna to be taking a dive in. Oh, my arm slipped, that's embarrassing. Today we're gonna to be taking a look in at script writing and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I write my scripts and how a lot of people write their scripts. That's a stupid, isn't it? That's right, I'm gonna be showing you the best way that I could really kind of give you advice with um, where to write your scripts and how to write scripts and kind of, you know, the formity of it. Like I said before, so the worst thing you can do is have your amazing script then be torn to pieces or somebody not understand which character's which, who's who, and the biggest part of that can be structure. So first thing, structure. Writing down a script is the most important part of it. That's the most important part of the process is getting your idea down on paper. But then when conveying your, your story and your message to other people, what you need to do is you need to then have structure to it so somebody can easily read, understand characters, who's what, when, where, how. Myself, the biggest thing that I've always struggled with is script writing and just making sure the dialogue's right and all that. But today, we're not gonna go over that, right? I don't know why I'm talking about that because we're not going over that. I'm gonna show you just quickly, probably one of the best apps that I use for my script writing. This isn't sponsored, this isn't advertised. I wish it was sponsor me. That's right, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna get straight to the point now. Uh, I'm gonna get straight to it. So uh, Google, Celtex, website, celtex.com. Create an account, free. Don't be tripped up though, because they, it's, they do that kind of, um, well you need to pay for this. You don't need to pay, right? It's free, you get three free projects for free. Let's dive. So once you've created your account, you will be taken to here, which is your project settings. You won't actually see these because you'll need to create a project. So if I just delete one of these, um, rip project down, fine. So here we are, we click new projects, TV and film for whatever, they've got all sorts of stuff. Game and VR, never clicked on that before. Not a game and VR channel, am I? Project name, YouTube video. Mm. There we go, YouTube video, one episode. Do you have an existing script? So maybe if you did start this off in Notepad, that might work, never tried it before, but you can. And here we go. We now have the opening part of our Celtex um, kind of thing. You have screenplay, index cards, and storyboard. Yes, that's right, you could take my old video, print those off or whatever, and put it into a storyboard. But here we go, so don't worry about all these other stuff too much because these are just extras. I would pay for them if I was you, if you have the opportunity and you storyboarding something, uh, script writing, something that you really wanna get into, definitely worth having something like this. There are loads of other apps, uh, but this is the one which I actually just started using back in college and I never stirred away from it. I know there's other industry professionals will tell you to use one thing or another thing, but Celtex is probably one of the greatest ones that I find, uh, and it's the easiest to use. It's so easy to, you know, send up and get even somebody else to look at it. So if I'm sending it, say, to um, my partner, my business partner, whoever, and I want them to make notes, it's the one that they find is easiest to uh, navigate around. So here we are, we have our, our, we have our uh, blank page and here we are, we're ready to start writing. I'm not gonna go too much about the formal, uh, formalities, I'm just gonna show you kind of the features that it works. So if I'm saying my scene, interior, day, house, right? God, I can't type. So interior, day, house, we wrote that, that's our, um, our kind of scene heading and all that malarkey. So if I click enter on that, then we go straight to action. So it automatically takes us to action. So if you go into the left hand corner, you'll be able to change what you want to write, basically. So you've got your act, which is your act end, your scene heading, your action. Our action is anything that a character is doing, moving camera, anything like that, you can jam into that section. Character, that's a character that's talking, so I could write Charlie, and then press space, and it will auto automatically, automatically take me to dialogue. Hi, 
Alex, that's what Charlie says. Hi. Right. You have parent parenthic. What the flip is that? Parenthetical. The bloody hell is that help? So, okay, back to the video. Video uh, parenthetical. You would use that. So, say if um, your character whispers or um, or is uh, smirking. Uh, I would usually add that in there, so it, you know, if I want the direction for the character to be very specific, so say if uh, Charlie says hi while smirking, if that's important, I don't know, um, might be wrong, but that's how I've always done it. So, so saying on that mark, you know, everybody kind of does it their own way. You know, I've what looked at, read some scripts where um, the directors put a lot more information in the action than like, you know, they put camera moves and stuff like that. And then I've also seen directors who have not, and script writers who have not put that and they've put that in their own line, whatever. Bambling now and I'm bambling. So now the reason why I use uh, this program so well is because if you like, once again, go to your uh, switches, your tabs, you can see that you have control zero, control one, control two, control three. And it's so fast, like say if I want to write Charlie hits man on the head and then I want to press enter and I want to switch to control three and just use that on my keyboard, control three and then I can switch straight to the character, press enter, it will go straight to dialogue, gotcha, awful. This is an awful film. Another great thing is that if I'm writing multiple characters, so I've got Charlie and Dave, ow, and I need to write Charlie's character again, as soon as I start writing Charlie, it automatically fills it in for me. And then once you've done that, it saves onto your account. You just need to log back in. You have a limited amount of pages, I'm pretty sure, to do it. It keeps, you know, all that data and all that. And you can render it out as a PDF. It's probably the best program that I would recommend for script writing. So this was just a small video that I wanted to make, just explaining what I use, uh, and a program that I find that a lot of people don't use when writing their scripts or even ideas down and stuff like that. It's just, you know, once you get into the process of it, um, your, your cast and your crew are gonna find it much easier to navigate your scripts and um, make it more enjoyable to read when you start going with the formats. And the reason why this is so good is it sticks so closely to an industry standard by forcing uh, you know, positions and stuff like that. And you never have to worry about that ever again. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to smack that like button because I have no idea what that does. Uh, hit subscribe, I know what that does. It makes the number go up. And that's about, that's basically it, that's basically it.